Welcome viewers, join us as we explore California's central coast. We visit an iconic Danish restaurant, marvel at a beautiful mission, experience the renowned Pismo Beach, and discover the picturesque Lake Lopez, all while mooch docking at the gorgeous Feather Ranch. We depart Lake Kachuma heading north towards Solvang, where we visit La Parisma Mission. Then we continue north to Arroyo Grande and Pismo Beach before we reach our destination of the Feather Ranch near Lake Lopez. Grab your stuff and let's go! We approach the enchanting town of Solvang in California, a remarkable piece of Denmark in the midst of the American landscape. Founded over a century ago by Danish immigrants, Solvang is a delightful showcase of Danish heritage, complete with traditional windmills, thatched roofs, and authentic food and bakeries galore. This small town, a gem in California's diverse cultural tapestry, invites us to wander through its streets. However, on this trip, we will have to settle for a drive through. For we are headed to the neighboring town of Buellton, where we are going to stay at a harvest host. Named after Rufus T. Buell, who owned the Rancho San Carlos de Jonada Mexican Land Grant, the town was officially founded in 1920. We are staying at a harvest host, the Crossroads Church, and I believe this is the first time we have stayed at a church. Since it's midweek, the area is quiet with ample parking available, including designated spots for harvest hosts. You can't get much more level than this. The parking lot was studded with southern magnolia trees, and some were in bloom. The church displays an intriguing architecture, possibly influenced by the styles of the nearby mission. Buellton is renowned as the birthplace of Pea Soup Andersons, a local culinary landmark. Eager to stretch our legs after the drive, we sought out to explore, as it's just about a mile away. You're unmistakably in wine country when even the local postal annex prominently advertises wine shipping services. Based on our walk, Buellton strikes us as a notably clean and well-maintained town. We arrive at Anderson's. Neither of us are hungry, but we will take a look around and perhaps we'll get something to go. This is a big place and must really pack them in on the weekends. You didn't really think we'd pass this opportunity up, did you? Originally founded in 1924 by Anton and Juliet Anderson, Anderson's Electrical Cafe was named in honor of their new electric stove. This cafe quickly evolved into a popular roadside attraction and became renowned for its pea soup, a treasured recipe from Juliet's family, which turned into the establishment's signature offering. In the 1930s, their son Robert joined the business and eventually renamed it to Pea Soup Anderson's in 1947. He was instrumental in popularizing the restaurant through billboards across California and creating the mascots Hop Pea and Pee Wee. Today, the establishment is part restaurant, part bakery, part museum, and part specialty food and gift shop. We grabbed some danishes and headed back to the trailer. We notice a pizza oven tucked away in the corner of the church parking lot. I bet that makes for some fun gatherings. Nestled in the heart of California's picturesque landscape, near the town of Lompoc, lies a remarkable testament to history, La Purosima Mission. Founded in the 18th century, this mission tells the story not just of architecture and religion, but of the people and the land that have shaped it. Established in 1787 by Spanish Franciscans, La Purisima was one of California's 21 missions aimed at spreading Christianity among the Native American population. 
Its story is a complex tapestry woven with hopes, challenges, and the meeting of different cultures. In 1812, a powerful earthquake dealt a crippling blow to the mission, leading to a complete reconstruction. The buildings that stand today are a result of dedicated restoration efforts, a phoenix rising from the rubble, preserving a pivotal piece of California's history. Life at La Purisima was a blend of Spanish and Native American cultures. The mission served as a self-sufficient community where the Chumash learned trades under Spanish guidance, a fusion of traditions and skills that formed the backbone of the mission's economy. The grounds have been meticulously restored, complete with authentic tools and equipment reflective of the farming and ranching activities that once sustained the mission. The gardens remind us of a time in the past when the concept of a quick trip to the grocery store was unimaginable. Embodying the mission's self-sufficiency during the 18th and 19th centuries, it had a tannery used to convert animal hides into usable leather, a vital resource in that era. They also had a leather workshop dedicated to crafting various items from the processed leather. Perhaps we enter the convento, or the Padres quarters, in Spanish missions, the convento was the area where the Franciscan friars lived and worked. Beyond just providing housing for the local clergy, this area would have housed any visiting religious officials or other important peoples. They have done an amazing job at restoring the quarters, bringing us back in time. Today, La Perusma stands as a state historic park, enveloped by the natural beauty of California. It offers a window into the past, allowing visitors to stroll through gardens, workshops, and living quarters, almost hearing the echoes of history in the breeze. For the modern explorer, the mission is not just a historical site, but an adventure into the past, hiking trail snake through the 2,000-acre park, inviting visitors to discover the untouched beauty of California's landscapes. Purisima Mission stands as a beacon of history, culture, and natural splendor. It's a place where the past is not just remembered but felt, a journey through time that enlightens and inspires. After our visit to the mission, we head north again. We are going to mooch dock at a longtime family friend's ranch in the Arroyo Grande area. The drive up the 101 from Solvang to Arroyo Grande is visually stunning, characterized by landscapes of rolling golden hills interspersed with clumps of green oak trees. We pass the occasional vineyard. There will be many more as we travel further north. We reach Arroyo Grande, a quaint little town perfectly situated just east of the coast. This delightful community offers a blend of cultural heritage, scenic beauty, and an array of outdoor activities, making it a perfect destination for those seeking a blend of relaxation and exploration in a serene coastal setting. Our destination is up near Lake Lopez, nestled in the hills a few miles east of the town proper. We will be staying at the Feather Ranch, a property owned by a longtime family friend who has graciously allowed us to park on her property. As we approach Lake Lopez, we can see that it is completely full due to the torrential rains earlier this year. 
There was so much rain it caused considerable damage at the ranch. We hope to assist with some repairs during the trip. The roads back here are rather narrow, but we managed okay. During our drive, we meander past several grand estates. The area's picturesque beauty is undeniable, making it an ideal backdrop for these magnificent homes. We pass the occasional vineyard as well. Someday it would be fun to sample the wine from this area. There are some truly massive oak trees in this area. During the hot summers, their shade must be quite welcome. Finally, we arrive at our destination. Nestled among the oaks, it remains as enchanting and picturesque as we remember. Arroyo Grande is right next door to one of our favorite beach cities in the Central California region, Pismo Beach. We did a video about camping nearby at Oceano Dunes, which we will link to in the description. A jewel on California's central coast, Pismo Beach is celebrated for its beautiful beaches, famous clams, and vibrant surf culture. The iconic Pismo Pier offers stunning ocean views and is surrounded by bustling shops and seafood eateries. The pier offers a magnificent walkway extending over the Pacific where you can immerse yourself in the beauty of the surrounding beaches, observe skilled surfers navigating the waves, or even engage in some fishing. Now there's an interesting shop. Here you can rent a rod for fishing, grab a snack or soda, or stock up on souvenirs. Around the pier, the atmosphere is vibrant and lively. The area is surrounded by a variety of shops, restaurants, and cafes, offering everything from casual beachwear to fine dining. The pier often becomes a hub of activity, especially during events and festivals. Besides the renowned Oceano Dunes, the area boasts several RV parks, making it a favored destination for RV enthusiasts seeking picturesque landscapes and adventure. A short way south, the entrance for Oceano Dunes State Vehicular Recreation Area is found. There is a river you have to ford to get out to the beach, and on this trip the river was running high. We decided not to visit. Now, let's soar above for a bird's eye view of this breathtaking area. Extending out over 1,300 feet into the Pacific, Pismo Beach Pier is one of the longest piers in California. Originally built in 1924, the pier has been rebuilt several times over the years to repair damage and make it safer. Founded in 1891 and incorporated in 1946, the city of Pismo Beach boasts a population of around 8,000. However, when combined with the broader five cities area of which it is a part, the total population exceeds 50,000. Pismo Beach enjoys a mild Mediterranean climate with cool, dry summers and mild, wet winters, offering comfortable and pleasant weather throughout the year. Each season brings its unique charm, making it a delightful destination no matter the time of year. Now let's go explore a different body of water.
just a short distance from Feather Ranch is Lake Lopez, officially known as Lopez Lake Recreation Area and a popular outdoor destination. This is a beautiful man-made reservoir created back in the late 1960s to provide water for the Five Cities region. The area around the lake is rich in wildlife, including deer, turkeys, and a wide variety of bird species, making it a great spot for nature enthusiasts and bird watchers. It offers a multitude of recreational activities, including boating, fishing, camping, hiking, and horseback riding trails. The lake is stocked with fish, making it a popular destination for anglers. The lake is home to the Vista Lago Adventure Park and the Mustang Water Park, offering a perfect blend of adventure and fun if you are seeking a more exhilarating experience. Boating is a popular activity at the lake and visitors can easily rent boats on site. The lake is not only known for its impressive catfish, some weighing over 25 pounds, but also for being a prime spot to catch crappie, red ear sunfish, and both large and smallmouth bass. The lake boasts over 350 camping sites, ranging from primitive to full hookup RV sites, offering stunning views and a serene atmosphere for campers. They even offer some cabins for rent if that's more your style. We're gonna come down now and explore some of the back roads around here. Let's take a drive on Upper Lopez Canyon Road. This is a small, sometimes unpaved road that winds its way north quite a few miles into the wilderness. There are a number of good trails up here for hiking or equestrian purposes, and there are also a lot of private residences. I understand that Little Falls and Big Falls trailheads are supposed to be nice. With limited time, we're gonna have to pass today. We will, however, send the drone up to see what the area looks like from above. The views here are truly captivating, with the lush greenery of the trees creating a striking contrast against the golden hues of the surrounding mountains. Back at Feather Ranch, we prepare to depart. It has been a great couple of days and we are so grateful for having the opportunity to visit. We bid farewell to Candy and Shadow, the horses, who seem to enjoy an almost idyllic existence in this serene environment. A Royal Grande holds a special allure, and Feather Ranch stands out as a truly enchanting spot within it. We've thoroughly enjoyed our brief stay here, savoring the beauty and tranquility of this special place.
extend our heartfelt thanks to Joyce and Joni for their warm welcome and exceptional hospitality at the ranch. Our visit was thoroughly enjoyable. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love it if you could hit the like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Your support truly makes a difference and helps us continue creating content like this.